Undocumented, The Architecture of Migrant Detention is a non-fiction graphic novel by Tings Chak and published by Ad Astra Comics. Hello comic book junkies, it's the Frog Queen here and today I'm reviewing one of my grabs from this year's decaf. Undocumented is about the horrific struggles faced every year by undocumented people in Canada. Uh, migrant people are detained in prisons with, uh, with other prisoners. Um, with prisoners, in fact, they're not actually criminals. Anyway, this happens to people who have legally entered the country, and due to the clumsy system we have in place, they then become detained, imprisoned later over uh, being in the wrong place in the at the wrong time i.e. Um, around police. Often the reasons uh, people are detained in lockup is because the country they were born in will not claim them and they cannot be deported. Once again, rather than Canada solving this problem, they bang their heads at paper and correspondence while the detained person waits in prison f indefinitely. Um, this includes children, families, people of any age. Children who were born in Canada are often held because there is no one else to care for them and thus they are deported with their parents despite them themselves having Canadian citizenship. Uh, there are some really alarming moments in this book. Um, alarming for a nonfiction book. Uh, the book talks about confinement and it talks about this thing called white light blindness um, which happens when you're confined to a room that's perpetually bright and everything around you is white as well um, you can actually um, go blind in a sense everything just becomes white and light um, it talked about how prisoners who had been confined for long periods of time reported feeling as though they were emer they were merging with the walls, uh, as if they were losing what defines them as a person. Um, they were losing their individually, their sense of self. And if that's not violence, then we've defined the terms too narrowly. Um, I think it's fair to say that I'm a pretty eclectic reader. I'm not sure I would have picked this up if I had saw it on a shelf. That's really too bad. I really enjoyed reading this book, and I think a lot of people might um, walk by it if they saw it on a shelf. Um, I learned so much um, about the subject matter, and I honestly, um, I'd never given the the subject much thought previously. I didn't know people were detained for years just because they were undocumented, not only in Canada, but in the country they were born. And I didn't know how many holes there were in the system, and a system that we consider to be uh, so much better than other places like the US. Um, I really do think people need to read this book, especially Canadians. Um, I don't like getting overly political on this channel, especially with American politics, just because I often don't fully understand them, um, and I find them very depressing, especially what's, with what's currently going on. However, um, I've always considered the war against migrants and undocumented people in the U.S. to be a horrible injustice, and I just never thought that um, there were as equally awful things happening here in Canada. So, a bit of an eye-opener, a bit of a um, really make you sit and think, probably best to read this during the day and not right before bed. <laughs> um, but I highly suggest checking out Ad Astra Comics. Um, Ad Astra Comics, uh, can, you can order their other books and this one online. Um, this is one of their new books that they just put out. Um, they specialize in graphic novels and social justice, so if that's a topic that's really interesting to you, uh, definitely check out their website. I'll link in the description below. Also, um, bug your local comic book store to get their books in. That's the best way to get uh, indie books into your store, uh, is to go directly to the source and ask them to bring them in. And uh, that's it for me for now. Until next time, you know, read something good, guys. Bye.